Hi guys and welcome to my first video on the community channel. This is going to be about uh, teams to take over when you want a new save or that aren't like Chelsea, Barcelona and Real Madrid and that I can recommend this one being AFC Wimbledon. When you take them over there in League 2 obviously not that far down. League 2 is as far as I've gone on this football manager so no, it's, it's a reasonable league. Stadium capacity is 5,000, which isn't great, and the facilities aren't great. These are the better players. Ricky Wellard doesn't look that great when you take him over, but in the game, he's very good. His, his stats aren't as good as he looks in the game. And uh, he looks like maybe a ball winner, but he's actually very creative as well. When you play the game, he can get you a lot of assists and create a lot of chances. This is what he's like in 2015, which is four years on. Um, his passing... Has improved, I think. His stamina's gone up. A lot of his things go up, and he's a really good player. You'll find he takes a good corner as well, so he's good at, um, at set pieces as well as outfield play. Rashid Yusuf is very, very good in the first season. Um, in that first year, he got me 20, 20 odd assists, but doesn't really cut it as much in League One or the Championship as he does League Two. So you could keep him to uh, get you promoted at the first season but then you could think of selling him to uh, get a bit more funds Callum Norton looks a very good centre back when you take over the club uh, promising stats for his age a lot of blues in there which is uh, centre back of his age is always good to have them blue stats and his shooting is pretty good as well actually um, and there should be one coming up in 2015 there it is he still hasn't hit his peak but he's got you know the green stat there and it looks good. I think when he does hit his peak, he'll he'll be a really good player with a lot of a lot of green stats and maybe Premiership quality, high end Championship. I think definitely that end of the scale. But he does look a very good player, and he um in all the way through he does play very well. Jack Turner isn't the best keeper when you take over the club, but he does turn into a very very good keeper over time. He's still very young when you take over. I actually bought him my own keeper because the keepers are pretty poor at Wimbledon. It's one of the uh, real setbacks of Wimbledon is that the keepers aren't very good. But um, as you can see, Turner in four years does do very does improve a lot, but he still hasn't hit his peak by a long way. So again, Turner could become a Premiership or high end Championship player easily. I think, especially just considering his age. I think you do get interest from him, for him. Sorry, but I would suggest you turn it down. Brian Harrison doesn't look like much of a player, but he scores a lot of goals. Uh, he's also got massive attitude problem. He'll fall out with you. He'll fall out with uh, the other players, and the other players will fall out with him. And um, he is that sort of player. I'm sure we've all had one in the past. His attitude isn't great, but he is a very, very good goal scorer. And um, yeah, 2015 doesn't improve all that much, but I was keeping for the goal factor. To be honest, he isn't really one for it, for. Uh, running down making amazing runs but he gets the goals at the end of the day and that's all I want from him so and as you can see there he does get a lot of goals a season or over 20 I should say so it's pretty good I think anyway he does well in that respect and uh yeah he's just a good player but his attitude does let him down Jack Midson is probably the second strike you'd want to play with him. I in at the time I swapped between Jack Midson and uh, Pryor. I can't Jason Pryor. Uh, Midson is a bit more of a uh, target man. Pryor's a bit more of a poacher. Uh, it might be the other way around actually. I'm not sure. But they're both pretty decent. They'll get you goals. But Harrison will be the main source of goals. Hatton's a very good uh, fullback, and this is him in 2015. So as you can see, that probably is his peak, but. For the lower leagues, when you're starting out, Hatton's very good. He can score a free kick, he can take corners, he's, and he's just solid all round as a fullback. So there isn't much to worry about in that respect for him. But he's a good player. Kieran Jalli isn't Jalali, isn't actually that good of a player. This in 2015, and he, he hasn't his peak, but I can't see him getting all that much better. So I suggest to keep him for a few seasons, then think of selling him because he he does attract interest from other teams. I'm not sure why. But yeah, this is my first video on the community channel. Uh, so, uh, you know, if you like this, subscribe to the channel. There's been a lot of great commentators on it. I think we've got four or five already on here at the minute. 
coming on, so it's going to be really good. Um, put you know, like the video, comment if you've been Wimbledon and if you enjoyed them. Uh, subscribe, like I said, subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you like what you saw, head over to my channel if you think you like some more of these sort of videos, where I've got some Football Manager videos and some other uh, games. So yeah, check over to my channel if you like that, and go check out the FMH Vibe website and. As always, thank you very much for watching.